David Harmony and Blessed was scratched the gates last time at Happy Valley. How's he been since then? He's been good. Um, you know, less than ideal having to go back to the valley in trial, but the trial was very impressive and he looks a horse of quite a bit of talent, I think. That day at Happy Valley, was that uh, out of the blue? Had he had issues at the gates or is he a difficult horse in general? No, no um, he just did that at just left of centre. Happens sometimes. The only good thing about it was I wasn't on a bridge because I would have jumped off. <laughs> what sort of confidence levels like do you have with him heading to the races first up this time then? You know, it's, if he wins, he'll be the first e-horse to win this season. So that'll be a nice thing if he's good enough to win. Um, because of that, not super confident, but I'll be disappointed if he doesn't run a good race. But do you think he's got a nice future? Oh yes, he, he looks like he's a better than a 52. When you look at your stable as well too, there's been a few nice ones trial recently. Are the wheels starting to get into motion for Hayes Racing? Yeah, I think so. I think generally when across the board, when the e-horses start winning, uh, you'll find that uh, the Hayes stable will start firing. Um, but no e-horses have won yet, so it just says how hard it is for the young horses to settle in, and we have uh, 53 of them, so um, my stable will get stronger as the season goes on. Casper, Southern legend, the iron horse, he's got the five pound penalty to carry in the Jockey Club mile. How do you think he'll get on? Uh, hi, Ed. Um, I think he'll get on really well. He's, uh, even though he's an eight-year-old, he just seems to be uh, producing some great efforts uh, this term and uh, I, don't, I see no reason why he can't give us a big run again you know um, obviously trying to trying to have him in the best possible form for December but uh, to look at him now he looks very healthy his coat's beautiful and I'll just be hoping that he, he gives us a nice run there and then I make a decision whether I stay at the mile or go to the 2000 so I've got a couple of options with him uh, but the horse appears to be in, in great form. This time last year he ran really well in the Jockey Club Cup. Why have you decided to bring him back for the mile this year though, for this race? Well, he's very versatile, you know. He showed us that when he ran second in the Gold Cup uh, uh, a while back. But um, I think he's a type of horse that's pretty good between 16 and 2000. I'll just go where I feel that I think I can get the best result for my client and uh, I'll make that decision when the time's right. And you take on Golden 60. How good do you think he is, Casper? He's very good. He's potentially uh, the next superstar of Hong Kong. He's already nearly got that title, but he's still got to do it, you know, uh, at set weights. And he's just starting to get there now. And uh, the way he's been doing it, he looks a very, very exciting horse for Francis and Vincent. And uh, yeah, so I think uh, he's potentially, you know, one of the best uh, milers around. Could your horse beat him? That's going to be tough, you know, especially this race, but uh, you never know in racing. We're always out there doing our best, and all I can do is present my horse in the best possible form, and I feel like he's there. Zach Mighty John, he's been thrown in the deep end on the weekend. Will he sink or swim, do you think? I suppose we're going to find out, aren't we? Um, it's a big throw at the stumps. It's hard to go there uh, with a lot of confidence, thinking you're going to beat Golden 60. He's such a good horse. But my bloke can only win, and he's been doing that. You know... He hasn't been beyond 1,400 metres before either, so he's got to step up in distance and, and a big jump in, up in class. But he's honest. He'll give us his best. He's got a good racing style. So he'll be out there and, you know, let's hope he can do it. You've got a perfect record on him. As far as the step up to the mile is concerned, does he give you the feel that he could handle it? Uh, he's been out on his feet at the end of the 1400 metre races, but they've all been very hard run races. They've been strong gallops and he's been entitled to be a little bit tight maybe at the mile he can have a bit more of a breather and, and that might help him but you know like I always say until you try a horse at a distance you can never be certain they're going to run it so uh, I'll, I'll find out on the weekend and it's a relatively small field as well Kaying star looks the rival pace influence in the race how do you see it panning out yeah just as you've suggested um, you know it looks pretty straightforward unless someone goes out there and does something differently but no doubt there'll be a, a little bit of jockeying for a position early. Um, it's always the way in these small fields, but my bloke, uh, you know, he, he'll just roll forward under his own steam, hopefully, and just slot across. I thought his run was good. Uh, it was a, for a race that on paper looked like it had no speed in it, uh, everyone had the same idea. They all wanted to be handier than they normally would be, and that injected 
you know, more speed in the race for the first half mile than, than what was necessary. And all those horses that were up there, except my bloke, um, fell in a hole. And the horse out the back with a lighter weight that did no work early and had a suck run was able to get over the top of us. My bloke was first up. Uh, he would have taken benefit from that run. And, you know, hopefully he's just taken that next step. He is an older horse, so sometimes they can take a little bit longer to come to hand. But um, I thought his run was good and I'm looking forward to riding him again. So can he beat Furore this time? You know, I've drawn a tricky gate, um, uh, the, the widest gate here, and it's the worst start on the track. It's, uh, you know, the outside gates of the story of my season so far. Uh, it's a bit of a They've running got joke. Ridden on them, yeah, they? it's a bit of a running joke amongst the barrier boys at the moment that they just leave my horses to the outside gates because that's where they're all drawn. And You know, it's been frustrating because it makes it hard. You know, you've got to do that extra little bit of work to get a position. and. It's going to be the same here. I, I either go back and if he's slow out of the gates, um, which he can be sometimes, and I've got some work to do, or he jumps well and I've got to go forward and people kick up and make it hard for me. So, like last time, you do that extra bit of work and you found wanting, and you know what? Uh, that's just the, the scenario that we're faced with. And, you know, for me, as long as he runs well and, and he shows that he's taking the, the necessary steps, then I'll be happy. And when you look at the race too, apart from Time Wolf, there doesn't look to be a lot of pace on paper in the race. If you were to good go back, you've made mid-race moves on him before. Could that be a possibility or do you not want to give him a gut buster heading into the international meeting? Um, no, I, I, I'll sort of I'll, I'll ride him to win, uh, which I always do. And, and if um, the way the, the race has been run tells me that I need to take off, then I'll take off. You've got two runners, Casper, in the Jockey Club Cup on the weekend. Let's start off with Dances with Dragon. Have you been pleased with the way his preparation's gone? He's been absolutely flying. You know, he uh, has not put in a bad run for me. Um, obviously, now he's up with the big boys. Uh, it's going to be tough, but I'm very happy that he's drawn a soft gate because I'd like to take advantage of that and just have him just behind the speed rather than him being out the back and, and, and rattling home, you know. So it'll give us a chance to see where we're at with the big boys at, under these terms uh, for this race and uh, hopefully he can show us that he can be competitive and if he does uh, then we can certainly look at December realistically and, and again he's another horse 2000 to 2400 looks within his compass. So have you made a decision on the cap of the Vars or does Sunday sort of make that decision for you? Absolutely, Sunday Sunday makes a decision for quite a few of these horses. In Columbus County that was a big win of the Valley last time Cass. Big win, yeah I got a lot of time for this horse, uh, He's again he's been uh, a late maturing type not a big horse, but he's certainly got a big heart. And um, I was quite confident going to that race first up, you know, prepared him. I felt well enough to, to give us a big run, and he certainly did that, you know, and, and was quite strong on the line. So he's the type of horse, even though he's rated 106, we really don't know where his, his rating is. He could be a 120 horse with a bit of luck, you know. So I'm, I'm hopeful that uh, he can come out there and mix it with them. Again, you know, that it's, a, it's a race that uh, the ratings aren't in his favor. You know, so it's going to be tough and I always respect uh, these set weight races and you always respect horses that have got the ratings in hand. But like I said, he's the type of horse that he could, he could take that next step and hopefully he'll show us something positive on the weekend. And he's exactly the same as the other horse, uh, the option of going to 2000 or 2400. Who's the pick of you or two as far as Sunday is concerned? Oh, there's not much between them, you know. Uh, I don't think I'd, I'd be disappointed if their boat didn't hit the frame, let's put it that way. Frankie winning Dreamer, he's four from four. Can he win again on the weekend? Uh, I, I can say it's good form. I trial him again, uh, he still uh, uh, goes good. And uh, I got a good draw. I hope he can uh, do it. What are your thoughts on him stepping up in class to class two this time? Uh, step to class two and then the way you can see maybe uh, better than last time, a little bit lighter, but we need to uh, see how it's going. He's done everything right on the track so far. Has he been a straightforward horse for you to train through his career, Frankie? Uh, I would like to say uh, I, I hope he can just keep going uh, and uh, to see how good he is. So we load uh, him uh, coming Sunday to see how, how good he is. He's rated 86 at the moment. You've trained very good sprinters like Mr Stunning in the past. Could he get to that level? Could he be a group level horse this season, do you think? Uh, he looks, uh, he looks, I think he, he should be uh, a group horse, but uh, how good, we don't know yet. 